after deliberating on our position in respect of the upcoming election, considering the interests of the people of Kenya, the region and the world at large, we believe that all will be best served by NASA vacating its presidential candidature in the election scheduled for 26th October this 2017. The latest political twist that saw NASA flag bearer Raila Odinga withdraw his candidature from the October 26 presidential election has caught many by surprise. And NASA opinion over the new development remains divided. Legal experts say the move could just send the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission back to the drawing board. There is one possibility that can happen. One, uh, fresh nominations can happen. If you look at the judgment of the court, it stated that... Uh, if after an election has been nullified and, uh, and a person is one of the two persons who are contending is no longer interested in pursuing the presidential election, then a fresh nomination process ensues. So that definitely will mean that if that uh, interpretation was followed strictly to the letter, it would mean that uh, the elections would be moved forward probably to some time next year because now the whole process of nomination would happen and then everything would start all over again and we get a fresh election date. The second way is if, uh, for instance, depending on how it goes and we decide, uh, the stakeholders decide to ignore the Supreme Court decision and read the Constitution by itself and state that, uh, which states that if only one person is nominated as a, a presidential candidate, then that person is declared, uh, after the nomination process has, it has lapsed, that person is declared elected if there is no other candidate. With questions over the legality of the withdrawal emerging, constitutional lawyer Elvis Mbanga opines that the opposition leader was within his rights even as he faulted the demands presented by ODM presidential candidate, commonly known as irreducible minimums, just days to the plan. Repeat, Paul. He used his right, his political rights under the constitution, the right to, to assembly, the right to... To, to make decisions, self-determination, to decide whether he is, he is willing to continue in this process or not, as well as he used the lifeline granted by the Supreme Court. The withdrawal, he say, could trigger a new election calendar, though the scenario could change significantly should the Third Way Alliance presidential candidate Ekuro Accord's petition be included in the presidential race is successful. Now this is an, the Ekuro Court uh, aspect brings in a totally different dynamic because Assuming he wins his case right now, and what the court will be saying is, even this election on 26th, that was slated for 26th, he was supposed to participate in that. So the fact that one candidate has dropped out, now that would be Raila Odinga, that would be a, a leaf line, I would say, <coughs> for the IABC to still conduct the 26th election, because now there would be there would be uh, another candidate. That is one way of looking at it, President. However, as I said, if they decide to interpret the Supreme Court ruling narrowly and strictly per se, then what would happen is the court might, might as well say that a Kuru court's application has been overtaken by events and now a fresh nomination process will ensue where he, is in, he can submit his nomination papers afresh. Ambanga who says there will be no power vacuum and that President Uhuru Kenyatta will remain in office until fresh elections are conducted and a new president is sworn in clarifies that if fresh nominations are held and no opponent is presented to oppose Uhuru Kenyatta's party nomination, Uhuru will automatically be sworn in as president. If, uh, for instance, Ekuru Okot loses and decides he's not going to vie, and uh, His Excellency Raila decides also he's not going to vie, then the president becomes de deemed elected and sworn in at that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. According to Ambanga Parliament, will conduct its normal business. Linus Moshigadi for Channel One News.